Anna Karina, a timeless figure in the film industry, is celebrated for qualities that make her a lasting symbol. Whether you hold Pirate Le Fou or another work closest to your heart, she remains an undeniable presence. Now, we're curious about your memories or personal experiences with this classic actor. Share your stories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we uncover many interesting facts about this artist. Keep watching for more insights into Anna Karina's journey in the world of cinema. What qualities do you think make her an everlasting symbol of the industry? Which work of hers do you hold closest to your heart? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Born in Denmark in 1940, Anna Karina's early life laid the groundwork for her remarkable journey in the world of cinema. Growing up in a working-class family, she faced challenges that fueled her determination. Her birth name was Han Karen Bear, and she discovered her passion for performance at a young age. At 17, she moved to Paris, marking a pivotal moment in her life. Struggling initially, she found work as a model and caught the eye of influential director John Luke Goddard. Their collaboration, both personally and professionally, became a defining chapter in her life. Her unique charm and screen presence were instrumental in shaping the French New Wave cinema. The 1960s witnessed her rise to stardom with roles in films like A Woman is a Woman and Band of Outsiders. Her on-screen charisma, coupled with a distinctive look, made her a symbol of the era. Her influence extended beyond acting. She became a muse for artists and filmmakers alike. Despite personal and professional challenges, including marriage to Goddard and subsequent divorce, Karina's career continued to evolve. She explored diverse genres, showcasing her versatility in films such as Pirate Le Fou and Alphaville. Her ability to infuse characters with depth and authenticity endeared her to audiences worldwide. In the world of cinema, she carved a unique space, leaving an imprint that transcends time. Her performances remain impactful, marked by a blend of innocence and sophistication. Anna Karina, a notable figure in film, extends her influence beyond acting. Apart from her achievements in cinema, she has written three novels showcasing her creativity in literature. This talent highlights her lasting influence on the artistic world. Her marriage to Dennis Barry reveals interesting connections in her personal life. Barry, formerly married to Jean Seberg, was directed by Anna's first husband, John Luke Goddard, in the famous film Breathless. This complex web of relationships in the film industry adds depth to Anna Karina's story. Notably, Anna's screen name was chosen by Coco Chanel. This pseudonym, reflecting her on-screen persona, captures the charm and sophistication that defined her cinematic presence. It becomes a symbolic thread in the fabric of her identity, seamlessly blending with her lasting legacy. Anna Karina's journey, marked by resilience and determination, goes beyond the screen. From early struggles in a working-class family to becoming a muse for filmmakers and artists, she embodies a captivating mix of authenticity and charm. Her exploration of diverse genres seen in films like Pirat Le Fou and Alphaville further illustrates her versatility. In history, Anna Karina remains an influential figure, leaving a lasting impression on both cinema and literature. Her ability to navigate personal and professional complexities highlights the intricacies of her life. Symbolic of an era, she continues to connect with audiences worldwide. In her cinematic journey, Anna Karina faced a unique challenge during the making of Vivre Savai in 1962. It's believed that her then-husband, John Luke Goddard, intentionally portrayed her in a way that some perceived as unflattering. This episode added complexity to their personal and professional relationship. During the 1980s, she spent a significant period residing in Los Angeles. It was there that she crossed paths with Dennis Barry, whom she later married as her fourth husband. Interestingly, Dennis Barry was the son of John Barry, making Anna his daughter-in-law. The intricacies of her personal life continued to intertwine with the film industry. Dennis Barry, her husband, had previously been married to Jean Seberg, a connection that echoed within the circles of John Luke Goddard, Anna's first husband. Barry's role in Goddard's acclaimed film Breathless added another layer of complexity to this cinematic web of relationships. Away from the camera, Anna showcased her creative talent in literature, authoring three novels. This facet of her talent highlighted her varied contributions to the artistic world going beyond acting. Coco Chanel, the fashion figure, played a role in shaping Anna's on-screen identity. The screen name Anna Karina was carefully chosen by Chanel, embodying the charm and sophistication that defined her cinematic presence. 
This pseudonym became a symbolic thread in the fabric of Anna's lasting legacy. Her journey, marked by resilience and determination, goes beyond the screen. From early struggles in a working-class family to becoming a muse for filmmakers and artists, she embodies a mix of authenticity and charm. Her exploration of diverse genres, seen in films like Pirate Le Fou and Alphaville, further illustrates her versatility. In history, she remains an influential figure, leaving a lasting impression on both cinema and literature. Her ability to navigate personal and professional complexities highlights the intricacies of her life. In the late 1970s, Anna Karina became the companion of Ali Lamo, a period marked by their collaboration in several movies. Notable among them were Reiner Werner Fassbinder's Chinese Roulette and Osterich mit Bannonen, directed by Lamo himself. Anna's linguistic abilities were impressive as she was fluent in five languages French, Danish, English, Swedish, and Italian. This proficiency undoubtedly contributed to her versatility as an actress, allowing her to navigate diverse roles with ease. In 1972, she took a significant step in her career by establishing a production company named Raska. This move demonstrated her entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to shaping the trajectory of her own cinematic journey. These lesser-known facets of Anna Karina's life highlight her connections in the film industry and her dedication to expanding her horizons beyond acting. Fluent in a multitude of languages, she transcended linguistic barriers, enhancing her ability to embody various characters on screen. The establishment of her production company underscored her desire for creative control and a deeper involvement in the filmmaking process. Anna Karina's early years were marked by a variety of interests. In her homeland, Denmark, she explored dance and painting during her formative years, laying the foundation for her later artistic pursuits. At the age of 14, she made her first appearance in a short film that gained recognition at the Cannes Film Festival, hinting at the promising path her career would take. Her social circle included notable personalities like Jean-Claude Brealy and Jean-Paul Belmondo, fostering connections that played a role in shaping her journey in the film industry. These friendships provided a supportive backdrop to her evolving career. Beyond acting, Anna Karina demonstrated her creativity in literature by writing three novels, showcasing a depth that went beyond the film industry. In the late 1970s, she found companionship in Ali Lomel and their collaboration in movies such as Reiner Werner Fassbinder's Chinese Roulette and Osterich Nabanin added another layer to her cinematic journey. Anna's linguistic abilities were noteworthy, fluently speaking five languages French, Danish, English, Swedish, and Italian. This linguistic versatility undoubtedly contributed to her ability to inhabit diverse roles on the screen. In 1972, she took a significant step in her career by establishing her production company, Raska, reflecting her entrepreneurial spirit and a desire for greater control over her cinematic endeavors. As we delve into her life, we discover a woman of many facets from early exploration of dance and painting in Denmark to diverse linguistic abilities and entrepreneurial ventures in the film industry. Her story is not just one of an actress, but of a creative force who left a lasting impact on both cinema and literature.